happy Friday. Hope you all have had a good week. Um, running a little late this morning. It's been a little crazy. But anyways, I wanted to share um, five things that happened this week. And hopefully something I say can help um, to uplift you. So anyways, I wanted to start with my mom. Um, finally got back into memory care yesterday. Um, finally got an all clear um, last Friday afternoon but wasn't able to get over there until today. Um, and it had been almost, I don't know, um, almost 10 days, I think. No, a little, over two and a, a little over two and a half weeks. So way too long again. But anyways, it was good to finally get back. And um, she was doing pretty good. Um, but unfortunately, things over there look like a ghost town, and I found out more upsetting information, which is extremely upsetting. Um, activity director is leaving, so is another one of the nurses. I have no idea who we're going to have left for a nurse. The general manager is on vacation, which makes no sense because she just took the job. And if all that wasn't um, disturbing enough, I found out a friend of mine's mom, who's also over there, um, fell on Sunday, Saturday night, um, and the caregiver uh, did not call her, which she was supposed to do. Um, she could have been over there in five minutes, but instead they picked her up and put her back to bed, which is just unfathomable. And when she got there the next morning, thankfully she went, she discovered um, this huge gash and bruise on her face, but that wasn't even the worst part. The worst part was she couldn't walk and had a broken hip. And she had to call an ambulance and get her taken to the hospital herself. And she had to have surgery. And now she's over in skilled nursing and is never going back there. And it's just unbelievable that that could have even have happened. Um, I feel so bad for her and just so angry. And at the same time, I am really worried about my mom now. And um, I knew that, you know, we were going to have to move her anyways. But at this point, it's going to be way sooner than later, and I'm definitely gonna go next week and start looking um, at the place I'm thinking of putting her, which is Shalom Park. But the problem is I can't move her tomorrow. I mean, it's going to take time. So I just ask, you know, you guys, if you can lift her up in prayer. I mean, because at this point, I have to just give it to God and hope that he can keep her safe um, until I can get her out of there. So anyways, um, still also looking for COVID guidelines, still haven't found those. They did talk to health department yesterday and they were supposed to send me something and I still don't have any clarity on that. So once again, if anybody knows anything about any, um, updated COVID guidelines, that would be great. Um, so then, uh, the next thing I want to talk about is it's been an extremely heavy week. Um, with this school shooting again in Nashville that happened on Monday and it just really weighed heavily on my heart. Um, just horrible, senseless tragedy again. And on top of that, I mean, it's not just about the guns. I mean, there's so much more to this story. Um, and in my opinion, I mean, nobody, no citizen needs a weapon of mass destruction. I mean, that is the number one problem here. And until something is done about that, I just don't see anything getting better anytime soon. Um, and on top of that, the shooter, I mean, obviously had extremely, extreme mental health issues. And I know people don't like to talk about that, but you have to talk about that. I mean, nobody in their right mind, um, whatever gender they are or not, um, would never do that. Um, and, and in my opinion, that has nothing to do with that person's gender. So I just think that, I mean, I don't even think, I don't even know, to be honest with you. I mean, like I said, my heart has just been so heavy on this all week. And I've heard lots of different opinions and things like that. But to be quite honest with you, I mean, I feel bad for every person involved in this. And, and believe me, I am not giving any, I'm not trying to be on the shooter side in any way. But at the same time, it makes you wonder what could cause a person to do something that unbelievably horrible and awful. I mean, it just, you, you think, how did that person not get the right help that they needed and to be able to, you know, function in society in a way that they felt comfortable and not judged? And it's just so many thoughts go through my head this week. And it's like, I know, you know, I, I know part of me is like, I should stop watching it and looking at it because it's overwhelming me, but at the same time, I want to know and I want to see if there's anything I can do to make it better. But, you know, once again, we're just small fish in a big pond. 
You know, unfortunately, the government is the one in control, and that's the hardest part. So, anyways, I just kind of wanted to share a little bit about that. Um, and then on a happier note, um, it's Amelia's birthday on Sunday, my daughter, and she'll be 25. Um, and 25 years ago, I was being induced to have her. She was very, very late. I was 42 weeks pregnant and she was not coming out. So I had to give in to being induced. But anyways, unfortunately, that went very wrong. And after 28 hours of induced labor, um, I was rushed into emergency C-section. Um, I was begging for clergy at that point. I was asking for a rabbi and there wasn't one. And instead, I got a, a pastor, and his name was Pastor, was Father, I think it was Father Steve. I know it was something like that. But anyways, he was so kind, and he was, wasn't there in person, but he got on the phone, and he said a prayer. And I really do believe that there was an intervention there from God, because um, not only after they did the C-section and got her out, um, I was supposed to, I hemorrhaged. Um, and almost died from that. But then on top of that, I went into something called HELP syndrome shortly after. And I was not supposed to have blood taken until later that morning, but somehow there was an intervention, and I do believe it was from God, um, to get the blood taken earlier. And if not, I probably would have died. But um, this is why I only have one daughter and <laughs> um, why she is even more special to me. So I know it's her birthday, but... At the same time, I mean, she is always going to be my greatest gift, and I am just so thankful that I was able to live and to be able to see her grow and be to this point. And so I just am hoping that, you know, on her birthday this year that it will be a good day. Unfortunately, last year on April Fool's Day, we were burying my sister. So that, unfortunately, is not a good memory, but... Um, I'm just hoping this weekend will be good and I'm trying to think positive and it's supposed to be a beautiful weekend weather-wise so I really hope that we will be able to celebrate her because she deserves it. <laughs> um, and then I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on um, in my Etsy um, this week. Well actually first I wanted to just say my birthday actually was last weekend and it went actually better than I thought it would. I was really grateful especially for my daughter once again and don't get me wrong I mean you know I talk about her a lot and how much I love her but at the same time we are definitely have our um, mother-daughter issues and we do fight a lot so <laughs> but it's all in love. Um, so anyways I just wanted to show this bouquet of flowers. My husband had bought me flowers originally had them sent and those big ones in the back the orange ones were part of it and so were these kind of purpley ones but then the other ones there were there were some birds of paradise and stuff and I took those out because they'd already died but my friend Julie brought me these other flowers yesterday for my birthday and I put them in there and I made this really pretty bouquet so I think that's really pretty I originally wanted tulips and I guess they said at the florist shop they didn't have any so <laughs> That's why I got these other ones instead. I'm not really sure what those orange ones are, but if you know, let, if you know what they are, let me know. And then uh, this week I made this little bird tutu um, for a little girl named Wren. Isn't that cute? That's quite a fitting name to go with the little bird theme. And I just love this little tutu um, set. So if you know any little kids that are having birthdays, send them my way because things in Etsy have died again. So that's that with my Etsy shop. And then I just wanna end with a little bit of prayer. But at first, uh, one more thing I wanna talk about. I went and um, Amelia and I went to the bookstore on Saturday and I knew I wanted to get a new Bible. I wanted one with, um, I actually had one. Um, the Mormons, when we met with them last year, that whole situation, they had given me one and it was a King James version. And it was really hard, it's been really hard for me to understand that one. I feel like I'm kind of reading Shakespeare. So I knew I wanted another one, and a lot of people were telling me that I should get one in NIV. But when I got to the bookstore, there were so many to choose from. I just got so overwhelmed. And I really was looking for one that was really pretty, which is what I really wanted. And so I ended up um, finding this one. Um, let me see. Hold on. Let me flip you guys over again um this one here the inspire bible and i think it's just so so pretty but it is an nlt bible and that one um was not niv i figured out after i bought it but i still love it because it has like really cool 
um, pages into color, really great pages in here to color and stuff, which I really like being able to do that. But in the meantime, I did, I wanted to find one that's NIV and this is what I want. Well, this is what I got, but what I really want is um, one, and I don't even know if this exists, but one that has New and Old Testament is NIV. Um, you can color and journal in it, and that it's small and it's not very heavy and would have large print, but I don't think that exists. So anyways, I did another um, search and I ended up with an NIV Bible um, and let me flip it again really quick. And I ended up with this one. Um, and I thought, was hoping it would be a little smaller, but it wasn't, but that's okay. But I think it'll still work okay for NIV. And the thing I really like about this Inspire one is it comes with an app and you can um, just on the pages here up at the top, it just kind of, it click, you click, it like scans this little thing at the top and it will bring up the exact page and then it has all these things that talk about um, studying and, and just a whole bunch of notes and stuff. It's just really pretty amazing. So those are two really good ones. But anyways, um, probably getting a little long-winded here. So anyways, let's just end this in a little bit of prayer because we definitely could use some of that. So anyways, I saw this prayer from the Prayer Doves. I don't know if you guys follow them on Instagram or not, but they're really amazing. And I saw this prayer the other night and I thought it was pr pretty cool. So anyways, it says, Today I pray for peace that surpasses all understanding, to cover you as you sleep tonight and to calm your racing thoughts. We pray for focus and clarity to lead us as we take every negative thought captive and give it to the Lord. May our days be filled and fueled by joy and our nights comforted in rest. Thank you for your provision, Lord. We pray your name forever and ever. Amen. So I thought that was a really lovely prayer. Um, and if you can just keep... Uh, my friend John in prayer, she's still he, trying to heal from the fall she had from her back. Um, please keep Josh in prayer because I know he's going through a really hard time right now. Um, I know there's still a lot of horrible hate going on in the transgender LGBTQ plus community, which is just not right. Um, you know, there are other things to be focusing on right now, which are way more important, um, like gun control and mental health. So... Anyways, if you could uplift him in prayer and the community and also um, pray for Ukraine and also for um, the people or for to stop anti-Semitism as well and to just stop the hate. I mean, that's the thing is that you don't have to agree with everyone, but you can still be kind. So I hope that something I said today encouraged you. And if you are in need of prayer, let me know. I'll add you to the list. And I hope you have a good weekend.